what a great event. We're so glad that you're all with us. And of course, it's owing largely to the tremendous list of honorees that we've assembled tonight. What we really did was recognize the best in others and honor the best in others. And that's what we're doing here tonight. We're recognizing and honoring some outstanding individuals for their contributions, not to just athletics, but to the world in general. You know, Rockney inspired a lot of people in the locker room with speeches. But he stirred a nation with his incredible record and what he did at Notre Dame. But I think there's a generation that doesn't know him. And how great would it be to, to share his story now with this, this documentary? Always doing something involving football, banquets, coaching schools. Um, you know, that, that was his life. He just loved football. Jerry has given Notre Dame an enduring visual legacy through his artistic talent by immortalizing Irish legends through his art, and for this we honor him tonight. Courage is not living a life without fear. It's learning to overcome your fears to carry on. I certainly did not live a life without fear. Um, there was the fear of not walking again, the fear of not swimming again, the fear of loss. 30 plus years of service to the university, many special moments. Does one stand out in your mind? I worked with the coaches that all had uh, spectacular elements about them. When I, when I left the university, I realized that life was more than just playing football, getting good grades and having a career. And it was about being a mentor, and it was about helping the community. And so I wanted to uh, honor my life with helping other people. At the age of 93, Johnny Lou Jack is the oldest living Heisman Trophy winner, having won the honor back in 1947. Fred, at the University of Notre Dame and with the Green Bay Packers, you played with some of the greats. You were coached by some of the greats. But what did these individuals learn from you? I never give up. And it's been a true blessing in the last 20 years. Our station has been involved with and has covered Notre Dame women's basketball. Now, we started about 30 years ago. We used to do a couple of games here and there when this young coach arrived, Malcolm McGraw. It's so important, basketball is it's just a game. What it teaches you is about life. And this team learned the first thing was get knocked down, get back up. The second thing is believe in yourself and believe in your teammates. And attitude is a choice, so choose to be positive because you can't succeed in life without a positive attitude. And I thank you all so much for your support and for this amazing honor. Thank you.